Good morning, YouTube. We are heading closer to home. So we are currently at the River Trail Crossing campground, and it was a lovely time. We didn't do an actual campground review, but we did talk about it a lot. Um, they do have shower houses over there, um, laundry. They have a couple washers and a couple dryers, pretty cheap. Um, it's a small park. You know, it's connected to the Richland B&O Trail. So, we had a great time here. I guess uh, some spring storms are coming in Jefferson, Ohio, where we are going to be. So, hopefully that won't pan out to anything. But, we still got some stuff to get rid of. But anyway, uh, we'll maybe pick up whenever we are going down the road. I've been riding on a daydream. A few people have asked me, uh, transmission temperatures, you know, going 70 miles an hour, which I'm dropping down right now. Um, this is, a, you know, we're going up a hill. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's very deceiving. But, yeah, transmission temperatures, uh, I've got them up as high as 225. Uh, but for the most part, we're, we, we see up to 221 seems to be pretty normal. Um, I don't know. I If I run it through the gears, usually I see a higher temperature that way than doing it this way. Um, seventh gear is a non-overdrive gear, so let me go ahead and put it in an overdrive gear. One of the overdrives, there's three of them. That should raise the temperature a little bit. But again, still going up a hill. Yeah, actually lowered the temperature. So, yeah, the, the thing is, is the transmission cooling in this is pretty good from what I can tell. And, you know, so much so that it has a thermostat in there to make sure the transmission stays warm enough. Um, which, you know, my old 97 and 95 trucks, they never, you know, as cool as you get it, as cool as you get it. So... I mean, if I put a transmission cooler on here, it may not make a difference if I did an auxiliary cooler. So, yeah, it even went down some more because I'm dropping speed going up this hill still. So let's go ahead and put it back down to seven. But yeah, that that's pretty pretty typical. Uh, I don't know. I I haven't really had any issues with that. That you know, knock on my head uh, because you know it could potentially go ahead and put it up ninth. Um, but the thing is, is, I mean, the truck is rated to, to pull, and yeah, there's another police up here, and another roadkill on the side of the road. Um, the, you know, the, the truck's rated to pull, just flat out pull, um, you know, 15,000 pounds, and we're pulling 7,500 pounds, 7,800 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood, and the whole thing all together weighs just under 19,000 pounds. Yeah, you can see the cops out today. Boy, they're really out. Why, why are there so many out today? They're shooting laser and everything. That's the second, uh, third. That's the third cop we've seen in the last five miles. But anyways, um, yeah, the, I mean, uh, combined we're, you know, 19,000 pounds and the truck combined can be 23,000 pounds. So, eh, not a big deal. But I want to show you guys that you asked so I guess we should talk about the weather. Uh, today's relatively warm, almost muggy at some points. It's cloudy and overcast, which welcome to Gray, Ohio. But we have the risk of severe weather all across the area that we're going to be staying at. Um, the tornado risk is like two percent. It's not zero, so they have to. They have to give us some sort of indication. Uh, but hail and high wind, it's moderate. There's a moderate chance of that. I guess these storms are just gonna pop up 
in random places and some of them could be pretty rough. Uh, so that's nice to know that we drove all the way up here for that. <laughs> the thing is, is we got to get to the campground, which we'll be there in, oh, by 11.30 it looks like, and uh, set up. Um, put the slides out, I would assume. Uh, hook up the electricity, hook up the sewer and stuff. And then um, we, we're leaving. And we've got to go get our stuff. We, we've got... I, I, in the video, I mentioned it to you guys. That in the last two weeks, just over two weeks, barely over two weeks, that we've sent a lot of packages to our daughter and our uh, Heidi's mom, our, my mother-in-law. <laughs> so I went through last night and counted 45. <laughs> we bought 40, 45 things shipped to their house in the last couple weeks, so... Like Heidi had said, it's gonna be like Christmas. Our hot water tank, our, our hot showers don't last as long when we're in Ohio. And it's not because we're getting dirtier, nothing like that. It's something that we forgot in a short amount of time when we were in Florida, and that is how cold the cold water is. So for the hot water tank to heat, that cold water that's coming out of the ground and going into the tank. I can see where you could probably save your heating element and if you was paying it for electricity, uh, electricity also, um, to, uh, if you're south, because the stuff's warm out there. And if you think about it, I, I wish there was, uh, and I'm sure somebody will come out with one if they haven't already, you could make yourself a solar array that the water runs through that sits out in the sun uh, before it enters the RV. Because quite honestly, how many of us need ice cold water coming out of the cold spigot? I mean, it, it, cold's okay, but warm would be better because now our showers, we could, we could have some long showers if it was a hot day and that thing was sitting outside. Plus, you're not drinking it anyway. Yeah, you're not I drinking it. Right. For the most part. Yeah, not really. So... Either of the two left lanes. I guess that would be a downfall, because what she's talking about is we put our water, once it goes through all this filtration, you know, the filtration system, we put our water in a, in a pitcher or in a jug, and it goes in the refrigerator, because we like our water cold out of the refrigerator. So, yeah. I guess, I guess that would be a concern if you guys are not doing that. Yeah, I guess that could be a concern. So, yeah, I, we forgot all about it, and I'm like, oh, the shower didn't seem to last as long. <laughs> Not in these roads, potholes. Yeah, it's rough. Just Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to this place. Um, and, of course, you've seen it before. Uh, how many times? Twice? Yeah, two times. Kennessee. Kennessee. This is a thousand trails park. Our, our stay is free here. Um, I know at one point they were trying to charge us for 50 amp. I don't remember what the story was there. I, I'm, I'm very unclear on that because I, I, I'm just unclear on that. Yeah, we've never we didn't have charged to be, right. at any park for our 50 amp, but we do hear people that get charged three or five dollars a day. Yeah. Oh my, we're only about 10 minutes away, but we got so much to do. Yeah, look at what we're hovering under. Oh my, isn't that nice? And then you've got Burger King over here also. I'll tell you, I don't remember, I guess I forgot. And We haven't traveled any roads like that for a while. It's just like patchwork quilt. Big sections, asphalt, just constantly, just bouncing and bouncing, so. We're going to uh, just go these last few miles relatively easy, and I'll tell you what, the wow, that tire's got a bubble in it or something. I was watching this truck pull in, and that one tire, man, he, he had a weird bounce to it. So, setting it up, then immediately getting back in the truck and heading south. We have about an hour and a half drive to get to Heidi's mom's house. 
Oh. And Heidi's giving me, ooh, listen to that, double. Hello? Burger, Burger King, what do you want? Oh, no. <laughs> Say a command. Stop. So whenever you get in here, you make a left into the park, you go down, you make a right into the, the loop, I guess you could say. Um, and that's the get in, check in early, check in late loop that you might have to stay the night in because they are not open. Uh, until they say they're open. And five means five. Yes. If I recall, that we've seen that like 15 times on yeah, see, paperwork. Slow, keep it. Yeah. Keep it, whoa, slow, whoa, <laughs> keep it slow. So, yeah, um, you can see here, welcome to Thousand Trails, stop and register. So, we'll go down here and do the loop. I'm going to drop Heidi off up here, and she'll do the check-in. And uh, hopefully we get a good sight. I like the sight we were at last time. Maybe we can get that same one. Not the, not the very last one, but, you know. So, yeah, there's the lake we walked around. I think the thumbnail of the video for the, 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 the campground is Heidi walking around that lake. <laughs> so, when you pull in, if it's too early or too late, regardless, if you pull in, um, you want to loop around here. This is, this is a place that you can come in early, from what I can tell, or if it's too late to check in that you can get in here and you can stay the night down here. Now there's no hookups, um, not that I'm aware of, but you can kind of see how it's it needs swept. Oh, by the way, Heidi tells me that this park just opened yesterday for the season. And I see a bunch of RVs up there already. I said, hopefully we can get maybe the same spot we got last time. Then again, with the wind and everything that's going to be going on, maybe we don't want that because we had a site that was, if you look here, off in the distance, which, let me zoom you in. This isn't very good on the phone, on the camera uh, that we're using, but I'll try to zoom you in. We were up on that ridge up there, and uh, I remember the wind being something substantial, if I'm not mistaken. Uh Hopefully it's not that way again. I like this park. I, I really like this park. Um, I'm glad it's a thousand trails park, and I'm glad it's not that far from where we need to be with uh, our kids. Uh, you know, um, at least our daughter, our son's in Colorado, but yeah, it's only about an hour away from where we need to be uh, to visit our grandson, and it's an hour and a half from mo uh, Heidi's mom, and it's about two hours from. Uh, my mom and my stepdad and I think about the same for my uh, dad and my stepmom so we'll pick this up hopefully at the campsite already backed in so I'm eating ice so excuse my crunch <laughs> these must be redone sites looks like they cut some trees make sure that they're not falling on RVs which is good the water pressure is outstanding uh, the sewer is the perfect distance. The electricity is great. The site's big. Um, I'm sure it's going to be pretty muddy, I'll be honest with you. The site's probably going to be muddy um, whenever it rains here. Because it looks like they just graded this recently. Uh, they'll be bringing us a new picnic table in a few days. And they just dropped off a brand new fire ring as soon as they seen us get here. So we'll be the first ones to use the fire ring. The uh, gate code didn't work for us. It's because each gate code is individual here. And um, it, they entered the wrong time for us to be here. They entered it at a.m. instead of p.m. So, Which probably happens a lot. Yeah. But the, like I said, this is the second day they're open. Um, we kept the RV close on this side because Heidi pointed out a good thing. And that is um, that it'll probably get pretty muddy uh, when it rains. So we do have grass to deal with here. And if it gets really rainy and wet here, um, then we can get straw and throw it down. It's not going to be a big deal. I'm sure they don't want straw on their gravel, though. So uh, this rain will help out, I'm sure, because this was great. This was just newly graded. I, I don't even know if it rained on it yet. Looks like they graded it at the end of last week or 
beginning of this week. So we have a three dollar a day charge for 50 amp. <laughs> we just talked about it. It, it was okay. It, here, here's the deal: when when we made our first reservation here, they didn't say anything about 30 or 50 amp, and they didn't care. Actually, the they second did. time, nope. The oh. second time we made a reservation, the girl had said. Uh, it's going to be three dollars a day for 50 amp because we're putting you on a premium site and i said well i don't need 50 amp i said just put me on a 30 amp site and then she kind of got a little upset and she said well th this is the last time this has been a while ago she she at that point said well your information that you have says 50 amp on your rig so that's what we have you reserved at that's what we have to charge you i'm like all right well i'll i guess no problem so then um, I ended up canceling that reservation and then the next time we came back they said they didn't care if it was 50 amp or 30 amp and I, I made mention about that and said what's the deal some people say 50 amp so I pay three dollars some people don't well it got clarified today um, they are enforcing it for sure starting this year and uh, if you have a 50 amp rig, if you're listed as a 50 amp rig, it's $3 a day for 50 amp. They do consider these premium sites in this area. Now, I'm going to have to say that we usually have a good, nice overlook of the lake. We have a really nice view of the lake. However, I don't think I'm disappointed with this because of a couple things. First of all, if a storm comes, there's a lot of trees around the lake. Lots. And the lake would allow for wind to just come flying across and hit those trees and potentially push it over on your RV. Where in this case, we have one tree we gotta be concerned with. Um, I also like it that we're out of the main path and drag. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, sort of. I don't know how to describe that. But yeah, it's, you can see. And it's funny because as we were pulling in, I told Heidi, I said, you know what, we never even went down this road before because we figured these were all permanent campers or something. And that's not the case. So, I don't know, what do you think about the site? That's nice. Of course, we'll have nobody across from us. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. It, this, there's a lot of, look at, look at all that you got to screw around with out there. It's a big field. And again, I did this walk through before. There's a big field down there. There's a trail. So. Less traffic. Yeah, there's less traffic down this way for sure. And we got a repeater here. I don't know how good the internet is. We'll check that out later. Um, right now we're kind of in a time crunch, as you can see. Storms are moving in, and we need to go drive for about an, well, it's about three hours worth of driving total. And we have to stop and visit with some people. So we're going to do that, and uh, I'll give you an update on this whole thing a little bit later. Looks like they're doing some work on our bridge. <laughs> The lake is way up. See how high yeah. the lake is? Seems kind of odd. It's because the road's falling in. Yeah. They'll be working there for a while. Craig. Oh. Look at that tree. Yeah, it's pretty. What's happening? Alright, so the deal is, is um, we're coming up alongside the road that goes past our house. Um, we stopped at Heidi's mom's house and got all our packages and, well, let me rephrase that, some of our packages and, and all of our mail, and now we're going to uh, our daughter's house and uh, doing that, but we thought we'd show you what our, our house kind of looks like here. Turn right There's at the George. traffic She's light. Stop and said hi to George, I guess. They use our lights. <laughs> yeah, those lights are awesome. That's funny. All right. Let's get our butts going here, guys. Yeah, it's quarter till four. It's gonna yeah. be a long day for us. Nothing else has changed. In two miles, turn left yeah. on South Christtown Road. It's funny because, um, I mean, we didn't expect a lot of change, but no, it looks the same. There's a few things that change. These people, and it looks like somebody moved into this house and they cleaned it up on the corner here. Looks like they're finally mowing their lawn. Yeah, it's mowing the grass. That's a thing. I don't Actually, know. it looks good. But other than that, seen it, done it. We're out of here. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll take off and um, like I say, get back to uh, 
or go to, over to our daughter's house and get the rest of our packages. I mean, we we got a, we got a big package back there. We're gonna have to make some room, some room for some Zoom. Well, we're, we'll show you guys that later. Um, it's not a scooter. Oh wait a minute, we're heading back uh, to Warren in this case. So we've got about a. Th 45 minute drive and then we'll hang out there for a while and then we still have an hour drive to get back to the campground so turn left later on good morning YouTube and it's a start of a whole new thing uh, not for you guys it's probably pretty much the same but uh, we went ahead and switched from our diehard camera that we've had for a long time now uh, to uh, a GoPro Hero 9 Black uh, the reason is is because I love Sony. I've got lots of Sony cameras, uh, but Sony decided they don't want to, I don't know, I guess they don't want to do cameras anymore. So when my action camera had a couple of issues, I started looking to replace it through Sony with whatever was new, and uh, they didn't have anything. As you can tell, Sully, this is not my baggie. This ain't the baggie, just to let you know. <laughs> But it is um, a jacket that's uh, insulated because it's chilly outside and it's getting down to freezing again tonight. So that's what we got to do, put some water stuff away. Outside we go in the abyss. There's a little bit of wind today, so we get to check that out also. You can see everything's a mess. I mean, it rained for hours and hours. I guess the good news is most of the pollen got off the truck. But... Welcome to Ohio, everybody. I gotta get in here today, and uh, we have to put a one-way check valve on the water pump. Now, I think I'm gonna hold off on that because of the weather and how cold it is. But what we are going to do today is uh, take and uh, fill the freshwater tank so that we can run off of that water, and uh, we can put these in the truck and protect them from freezing. I'll, I'll disconnect all this stuff. We'll leave the hose lay out here both hoses but we want to protect everything else from freezing uh, tonight so Heidi wants I got to do video I have to edit video today so Heidi wants something to do she wants to do laundry something so, so we got to go find some quarters we got to drive into town to get some quarters because we don't have any because we forgot you know, yeah. well it was late the other night yeah normally we're pretty good about that stuff but it was late <clears throat> when we came back from our daughter's house and our son-in-law's so we will uh load up in the truck, go into town, and find out uh, why he's not driving five miles per hour. <laughs> That's what, you. yeah, here, he raspberried me. All right, I'm doing laundry right now, so thought I would shoot a little bit video. The pole's over there. Oh, let me get some. slides and looks like some swings for the kids which I believe that is new I don't think that was here last time but I don't remember they do have some crazy geese here and they've already some of them has already had babies that's the bathhouse over there I think we probably had shown that last time but it's a very very nice park I'll go over to the lake side. Here's the welcome center. Of course, not much has been going on because of COVID. Hopefully that like ends real soon. But it is a real nice place and it looks like when everything's up and going that they do have a lot of activities. And uh, there's, you can come down here and hang out. I think there's games in there. And uh, I think that you could probably do parties and stuff like that in there. But it's really nice. So here's the lake. And there. 
See, I'm not sure if you can put a boat in here, but maybe you can. I'm not sure. So here's the laundry. It is wheelchair accessible, which is great. Couldn't get that walk out of the way. Looks like they have um, six dryers, six washers. And four of them right now but the only thing that's missing in here is something to hang up your hangers which kind of stinks but hey at least we got some place for laundry or a place that we can do our laundry um, a couple chairs but like they probably rent this rent the washers and dryers they have the app thing on here but it looks like it's just for service because it is coin operated So we've got a little bit that we need to do here. Yeah, think, yeah, things aren't going so well. So we had that water leak issue that was in the RV, and well, we don't have as big an issue as this guy. Yeah, look at that. We got winched out. Anyways, you see, we're putting all our stuff away, but I wanted to uh, fix. This water leak. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you later because it's going to be dark out. So that's why we're covering it now. I put in the one way valve so I don't get any water bypassing, which worked. Except the fitting that's in the back here, it started to screw up and leak. And so did that one up there. Problem is, that's PEX. You can't just, you got to have a PEX crimping tool. So that's what I'm gonna go do, is go buy a PEX crimping tool because we can't get it not to leak. And it's just a major pain in the butt, let me tell you. I don't know who in the right mind would have made some of these fittings go on the way that they did, but shame on them. Shame on the mess, as the bonehead trucker says. So yeah, they're recovering. Mm, what a mess. All right, so we're going to take off and go to Lowe's, I guess, I think. How many miles is Lowe's? Lowe's? Oh, that's not bad. We're going to turn here on the uh, right. corner, you can kind of see. Um, and this sharp turn is the road that goes back to the campground. The roads aren't smooth. Thank God we have trucks. <laughs> because, um, especially the campground. Turn right on Mill Creek Road. The campground kind of got... Uh, a little bit on the uh, pothole side, full of, uh, what do you want to call it? Water, all the potholes yeah. full of water. They got a lot of rain last night. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you can see that. Here, yeah. I'll put the window down. Yeah, well, well, well. Um, it wasn't, uh, whoo, that's a drop off there. You want me to drive over there? But yeah, <laughs> um, it was like, it wasn't flowing this much yesterday. No. Or, I'm sorry, two days ago. Yeah. Because yesterday it rained all day. Yeah, yeah, you'll see this when we get up here. What we'll get a canoe? <laughs> Just kidding. Wouldn't have to paddle. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we'll get up here, and you'll see on the other side of the road. Um, so we must go over a bridge up here. Because how could the water be yeah. on the other side? Well, anyways, you'll we see on the bridge where they scraped. Oh yeah, yeah. Are we up today? No, I guess not. No. So I'm there's a bridge up here. That water you just seen crosses this road. And on the other side of the road, I don't remember seeing hardly any water out there, but now it's all over the place. Yeah, look at how much water is there. Yeah, it's way up because it wasn't this high. Yeah, it wasn't like this at all. That's a lot of water. So here we are, and listen to that noise.
whenever you guys are searching for an RV, be sure to realize that the one you buy might be really annoying whenever it has heating features turned on. That thing sounds like a subwoofer in our RV. Let me go ahead and zoom me in a little bit. And the thing is, is it's, it's not like it's a constant noise for 20 minutes and then it goes off for 20 minutes. It goes on and off, on and off, on and off, all different intervals. The RV industry should quit making that system. I don't know if that's a an aqua heat or what, but here how it goes off. You think, oh good, they're done with whatever they're doing. Just to let you know it's a super C that's next to us. So it's uh, the next morning after the big chill. How did you sleep last night? Oh, I slept pretty good. Teddy was up about an hour or so ago. And I've got to do editing today, even though today is supposed to finally get into the 60s. It's going to take uh, quite a few hours to do so, so maybe I can get a lot of this stuff done prior. Because um, I have fallen behind. and we got a lot of stuff to cover. Um, I'm playing around with um, the uh, TV options that you guys may have out there. So if you guys are interested in that put it in the comments uh, there's a lot of people that love to watch TV they gotta watch their shows or they gotta watch certain things and they're paying uh, a lot of money for not only their satellite setup um, but also their uh, monthly bills for all their channels so I think we may have an option for that it's a little bit cheaper again future video let us know let us know if uh, uh, in the comments if you guys watch TV when you're on the road or not I mean we don't want to I'll be honest with you uh, we would like to get away from watching more TV but ask Heidi when it's cold and rainy uh, I don't know it's not even fun exploring the area um, I mean we just like rush to get stuff done Wendy yesterday oh and I had to make that full-blown water repair <clears throat> Um, we tried to help out. We got that PEX tool, like I mentioned, and I think we're set. Uh, everything looks good now. We'll see. We'll find out whenever we hook the city water back the up. Water, or check that little bay in there. Yeah, I did last night. In the middle of the night. Whenever I come out to see about that oh. moisture, that um, it was so cold that we had humidity build up in all kinds of weird places because we had a lot of rain. Yeah, you can kind of see the rig there. Accolade. Anyways, that furnace is needing the accolades yelled out to stop. Okay, just a quick check-in. It's a beautiful day in Ohio. You don't hear me say that very often. Uh, we're going to do our grandson's birthday party today, so we don't really don't have any footage of much. Um, I don't think anything exciting is going to happen, but we did bring the camera. Uh, we washed off the truck. I don't know. It, it got the got a lot of the pollen off and Heidi found like her dream shopping spree here look at that there's a dollar general right next to a dollar tree <laughs> so we're in Warren Ohio that's where our, our daughter lives and um, yeah I, I'd have to say that uh, traffic is kind of crappy today but we wanted to check in tell you guys that not a lot's happening today you know, it's not, not RV related. Uh, this is what we came to Ohio for, for this specific day. So what's that mean once the birthday party's over? Well, we still have uh, about a week and a half, I think, at this place. Uh, we need to go get our, my, I gotta get my hairs done. I gotta get a perm. <laughs> um, and we uh, also need to get our tags for one of the vehicles. Now, of course, whenever we go 
uh, and, and find out where we're going to use our domicile, where we're going to make our domicile at, our, our home state, uh, that'll be a whole different story. Um, but as the uh, as it goes right now, um, we're just going to stick with Ohio and the tags on the truck, I think, are getting ready to expire. I, I can't remember if it's a truck or the RV. Also, we need to get the, the title for the truck. Um, we have the title for the RV or vice versa. Man, I can't keep that straight. We wanted a physical title on our hands. So when we do change and go to a different state um, of domicile, it's a lot easier if you own your stuff. If you have a loan, there's a couple extra steps you have to make with your bank. So just be aware. Um, and after that's done, uh, we have some visiting of relatives that we need to do. I need to go see uh, my parents. And then what else do I need to do? Oh, then we have to make the decision about the vaccine. And I'm not sure. We haven't, we've talked about it. You know, I'm not getting sick. I don't normally get sick and I don't normally get the vaccination. So I, what I'm talking about is a flu shot. I usually don't get a flu vaccine. And, you know, I, I know I'm older, but still, I, I don't know. And if we get the shot, are we gonna get both of them? You know, one of them's supposed to help above and beyond what you currently are supposed to be able to be immune to. Well, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Good morning, YouTube. What are we doing today? Well, we're going outside. And I need to put on my sunglasses because it's so bright out here. And it's hot. Oh, my God, the temperature out here is just crazy. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we're still in Ohio. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Our friend's right over there uh, in their Jayco. And their Jeep, Jeff and uh, Danette, they st st stopped over here and talked with us for a while. So, we'll ask Heidi what's going on today. We're getting our shot. We're, we're getting get, our COVID shot. We're going to go get a COVID shot. Um, just one. We think just one's fine. Um, we don't want to be tied down here any more than we have to. So, we're going to head out of here. And uh, it's not that far away. That guy brought us our picnic table the other day. Wasn't that nice? Brand new one. Not even painted. But the uh, deal with the COVID shot is uh, we're going up to Ashtabula. We're just going to go into Giant Eagle. It's just a quick little shot. Yep. Got back from the COVID shot special there. And our arms are our arms hurt, hurt just a little bit. I get sleepy. Heidi got really sleepy, um, and in the spirit of the seven dwarfs, I'm really dopey. <laughs> a little bit of housekeeping on a video that I posted that I forgot something. We did that bike trail the other day. Um, when we do bike trails from now on, and that one, that video included, or if we go on a bike ride, or which I'm going to talk about, scooter ride. Um, you're going to see uh, the, the, the trail that we took uh, and, the, and the time it took. And I think it'll show the average speed and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't remember what's all on there. But from our last video or our video of our bike ride that we went on that bike trail um, over in uh, Butler, going from Butler to Belleville, um, well, let me show you what you'll have included with those in the future going forward because I screwed up and forgot to post it. So here's that ride condensed.
So it's really cool. Uh, that's an app that we use on the phone and it, it does all the work for us for the most part. So I mentioned scooters and we've had uh, people that have seen us on our scooters and, has, they, and, and have asked us about scooters. Um, but we haven't done we haven't done a full blown review. We haven't filmed a lot. Uh, we started to. I had a camera problem. Uh, that's why we have this GoPro nine uh, now. But I, I ended up kind of fixing that old broken camera. It, it still does the job. So um, to give you a peek of kind of what what the scooters like, just a little bit. We we have a couple. Um, and one I prefer much more over the other, and um, I'll let you see these two clips, and then I want you to put your guesses in the comments of which one you think that I like, and then at the end of the video, I'll uh, I'll tell you which one actually I prefer. So let's go ahead and show you those two clips. the first video or maybe a second video of Michael's nano robot I think that's what it's called I could be wrong wrong most of the time this light looks pretty good all right drastically different scooters um just and they were just little quick blips so there's not a lot of information or anything on them quite yet but i just wanted to give you an idea you know that we do have them and, and we are trying them out so i again in the comments i want you to tell me which one you think uh, i prefer but we're uh shutting down for the night uh what's our plans well as of right now we have a lot of running to do and Ohio is getting worse uh, as far as the weather. Um, we're, we're getting into a, a minus four, 11 to 14 degrees daily below normal springtime average temperature. Uh, we're, we have frost potential for on two of the days uh, that, you know, in the next week. So... We have errands that we need to run. We have stuff that we have to do while we're here. Uh, the shots were one of them. And what are, what do you think then? We have to visit relatives. We, we definitely have to go see all our parents. Um, what, what are we doing then, you think? Yeah, we're probably going to move on down the road. Yeah, I, I can't imagine being here any longer than we have to. Uh, we reserved till the 19th, right? Yeah. I don't think we're going to make it till the 19th because I, I don't want to see what I seen this morning. I don't, I don't want to see the, it's muddy. It's wet. It's gray. I forgot how gray this state was when, mm -hmm. whenever it's, you know, in the transitional weather period. Today was nice. Most of the day. It was very nice. Was yeah. Day. Yeah. It was a very nice day. We're on our way over, uh, to see my, uh, mom, and my stepdad, which is over in the Akron area. And we were diverted. <laughs> we wanted to get something to eat before we went over there. And Heidi said, hey, why don't we go da-da-da, because we were driving past West Branch. So everybody in the comments, I want you to put down in the comments right now where, that's been watching us for a while, where do you think we went to? Where do you think we went to? And solely, I don't think you can guess. You're not allowed to guess. You're not allowed to make a guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just want to see what everybody types in there. So go ahead and pause the video. Everybody pause the video. <laughs> Type in the comment where you think it is and then restart the video. <laughs> Swinson's. It's Swinson's. You see how everybody runs? Uh, everybody runs here. You're, you're not allowed to walk. You're supposed to run. 
um, when you see a car. They're not as good as they used to be. Yeah, it's not it's not the same as it used to be as yeah. far as the, the service is still good here. It's just, it used to be they all like competed. Yeah. And they ran around the building. But anyways, uh, if you guys haven't seen this, which we have a lot of new subscribers. Swenson's been around a long time. I don't remember what it was. 30 something, 1930 something, I believe. And there's multiple ones in Ohio now, but they are old style, you know, drive in, they come out, get your order and they bring it out to you. And uh, they, I don't think they place it on the window because of COVID now with the tray, um, but that's what they will probably go back to doing eventually. And the thing is, uh, they used to serve Osmond pies. Oh, Mrs. Osmond pies. A whole little, it's a little it's a pie. little pie. But it was a whole pie. <laughs> then they changed and they used to just do the slice. Now they don't do it at all. So the thing that I want you to take away is this is Ohio. There's multiple, you know, Swenson's throughout this part of Ohio, Northeast Ohio. They're open all year round. Rain, shine, snow, cold, it doesn't make a difference. This place is open year round. Of course, some holidays are shut down. And if there's an emergency weather situation, they want to be here. But um, yeah, and sometimes these places are packed. But yeah, they got good burgers. I like it. I think they put a little bit of cinnamon or sugar or something in their burger. I think so. Yeah. Something. All right. So that's it. Yeah, see how they, they're walking around? Just I don't remember them walking before. I thought they always kind of ran around, but yeah, that's what they got to stay busy the whole time. All right, we're going to eat and then be on our way. Good morning, YouTube. It's been many days in Ohio, but it's time for us to leave. We're heading out and we're... Wait a minute. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we've only been here a week. We're supposed to be here for a lot longer than that. What we were having a problem with didn't come to light until yesterday uh, Whenever we took you guys out But we didn't really show you anything because we're just running errands and and doing all the stuff that we need to do before We leave the state again, and of course we have to go get our tags still we, we still need to go visit relatives um, We have some get-togethers that we're going to attend um, The problem is is the thousand trails park that we're at it's just too far it yes yeah, it it's been all day driving yesterday we I mean, which is what it, it's no big deal except that's part of our day it's three hours so we, we leave in the morning and a lot of times we're getting home at dark yeah i mean yeah. that's what that we were using this park for in the first place but it's just we can move closer to all the stuff that we got to finish doing um and it's not that expensive right the and that was the thing uh of course you know i'm sure all you guys are saying well wait a minute it's free you guys are where you're staying at it's free well it is free you're right uh the problem lies in that we're spending uh i don't know how much money in gas driving like i so said we already it's, filled up once it's an hour and a half to go to you know like yesterday it was an hour and a half to go visit my mom and my stepdad and then we spent you know the day there visiting like we wanted to and then it was a little bit longer coming back because we stopped and got something to eat actually it was just as long going there because i think we got something to eat there's something else too the day is so long at that point we you know unless we're eating out we're, we're missing out on trying to you know keep our meals regular and not huge because you know what happens when you get hungry uh you stop somewhere and buy some kind of a big huge meal so what we're going to do is we're going to move to a uh, fan favorite <laughs> i'm kidding we're moving back to uh friendship acres and if you haven't seen that video go check that out uh, that was about the time that we had our old truck which at that point was relatively new and we had our old cap, which was new, but uh, the window had broken. And then we were getting it replaced, and what a nightmare that was. So it'll be nice not to have to worry about that on this day. So we're about an hour and a half away from there. And uh, 
yeah, we're packing up and, and heading out. All right, so we're all hooked up, packed up. Heidi did all the work. I just sat and watched. <laughs> she did almost all the work. I was still in bed, and I got up, and almost everything was put away. And I was like, what? <laughs> so we have, uh, let's see, an hour and 30 minutes. So it usually means two hours. But let's see if I can do 80. I'm kidding. Not today. I'm not really in the mood for that. So that's it. We'll head out. By the way, Jeff and Danette, goodbye. <laughs> we, we didn't get to say goodbye to you. Uh, we, your RV was covered up and looks like you guys were, you know, not out, which we weren't out either until we decided to leave. <laughs> but, uh, I know we said we was going to be here for a little bit, but yeah, well, that was the last little, last little ditch thing. I didn't even think that you guys were sitting up there, <laughs> but we're uh, heading to see some other viewers. So stay tuned shortly here. Uh, by the time you guys seen this, you've already seen us, Greg and Karen, down at Friendship Acres. So on the way we go, we got to drop off some paperwork and we got to get a little refundage action for our electricity. We did pay for electricity for the whole stay. Um, again, if you guys don't know, Thousand Trails, some Thousand Trails parks charge extra for 50 amp. Guess what? No, guess. Guess what? <laughs> We're here. I will show you what it looks like here. Rural. It's a campground. I mean, it's a, it's a normal thing, you know. There's a bar and a restaurant. Go ahead, go ahead. A pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, the oh now the one, like the club downstairs or whatever is kind of cool, uh, which we showed this in a previous video. So go back and check that out. Yeah, we won't be doing a review this time. No, and that was a pre-COVID. Oh, there's firewood over there. I didn't know they had firewood, did you? Yeah, I think it was there last time. So here's the thing, um, which again, our old review. The bar is reasonably priced, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, and the, the drinks are reasonably priced and they have a full bar. Their bar was fully stocked. So Heidi will run in here and uh, pay cash, right? Yeah, she got to go back to the RV. I forgot about that. Um, she got to pay cash. It's cat or check, which I have a check stashed away somewhere. But yeah, I didn't know they had firewood here. That's kind of cool. But we're probably not going to have a fire or anything like that. We will, however, um, be... Uh, Hopefully close to where we were the last time. I kind of liked the site we were in the last time. It wasn't too bad. Good morning, Ohio. That's right. It's being Ohio again. Oh, I can see my breath. <laughs> it's 40 some degrees and I don't like it. I think I can put this stuff over on Heidi's side of the truck. We got to go to the uh, laundromat, but we're not going to the laundromat. We're going to go visit relatives. And they said, sure, you can wash your clothes here. So that's what we're going to do. Thanks see you guys around here. Yeah, look at the... I don't, I don't know if it even stopped raining. It's rained all night long, all night, all night, all night long. Okay, so I get to button up the back of the truck, and uh, we got to run errands today. We have some uh, uh, logistics, no, that's not it, transportation uh, stuff to do, namely the truck's title and the uh, tags, so we'll pick this up later. Just to give you some reference, this is Downtown Alliance. Now, when I first met Heidi, she actually worked in one of these buildings that's back there a little ways, but it, it's about that kind of age and about that tall, too, because there was an elevator in there just a, 
like a two-person, three-person elevator, which was kind of cool. Um, but like any place, you know, you've got some buildings that are a little bit more in disrepair than others. Uh, but I'll say overall, the city, they, they try to do a pretty good job with this. It's just hard to keep business down here. And then, you know, years ago, I can't remember when it was, um, Martin Luther King Boulevard, um, it was entitled, um, that bridge that went across there. That bridge has been there for a long time. But it's it's kind of cool down here. So whenever we get into some of these older towns and we're like, yeah, reminds us of like Salem or Alliance. I mean, it, it's because there's a lot of towns like this in Ohio. Lots and lots of them. It's still kind of cool down here. Um, and then this is an old bank. You could tell, well, they changed the front doors on the outside. But the uh, handles, they're big, long, spindly handles. And it's, you know, all ter terraza or Italian marble type floor that's in there. Um, you know, it's old teller stations. And this is the BMV. So we're getting our, like I mentioned before, our uh, title and our tags for the truck. And that's all in one place. And the fact that it was a bank makes it nice because they have those teller stations and everything's spread out. And it's much better than it this used is, to be. Uh, this is where we get our hair cut. It's in Alliance. It's where we get uh, Heidi gets her hair cut and colored. Anyways, um, our our hairstylist is a subscriber, and her father, uh, he has a stump grinding service, and well, he did other stuff too, but he had a stump grinding service, and he had ground out some stumps that we had on some big trees that we used to have in our backyard but that was years ago i mean this was back in like 2000 and I, I can't remember exactly it's it must have been around 2006 i think maybe in that range but he had just got a at, at that time it was new with him his first remote control stump grinder and uh i had recorded video on it this is before i had a youtube channel and i had recorded video on it because i wanted to you know say and he said, can you send that to me? And the file got corrupted, and I lost it. I hated that. That was horrible. Because I had filmed it in a couple different angles in that. Speaking of a couple different angles, how about that? Got me all shaved up and cut up and everything else. Now, Heidi's going to be in there for, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So I think I'm going to go take, even though it's raining, I'm going to go take and uh, get the truck washed to some extent because it's it's ugh. happy mother's day happy mother's day to all the moms my birthday sometimes lands on mother's day and then it's mother day <laughs> <laughs> so with a u and a <laughs> his birthday's tomorrow yeah my birthday's tomorrow um i'm still not a senior citizen or a uh, you're getting there yeah i still have a another year right <laughs> not a senior card. I could get an ARP card already. They're trying to send me an ARP oh, card for the last couple of years. Too. Yeah. So uh, we're we're heading out to do Mother's Day, uh, Mother's Day, and um, it's one of those days that we're probably not going to be able to show you anything really either. Uh, I will show you this though. Look on the hood of the truck, and and they're all it's on the steps too, the steps of the RV. I'm about to wipe them off. Yeah, it's slippery. Yeah, we got sleet and ice and stuff. There goes uh, Greg and Greg uh, Karen. Greg wanted to her daughter. Yeah, they see them right there. They'll be driving past in their little Honda. So anyway. Hi, Greg and Karen. Heidi, Heidi didn't get to say goodbye last night. I texted her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went down um, to the uh, bar and restaurant down here. And people start buying Heidi drinks and don't I, do that. Heidi, yeah, don't buy Heidi drinks. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll drink myself. I, I, yeah. I'll control it myself. Oh my word! And then I had to get a little drunk because I was trying to drink her drinks, so they, <laughs> so she wouldn't like drink I was anymore. It all. <laughs> so, anyways, we walked back. That was good that we got to walk back. Yeah, that was a little tipsy. And we misplaced our credit card, which Not, I, it wasn't misplaced. Yeah. I just didn't remember where I laid it last night. So I, uh, 
I walk. I get up early this morning and walk the park. This retraced our steps before all this rain, but it's cold. It's it's pretty cold out. So, yeah, we're heading over uh, to a little family thing, and uh, yeah, if anything exciting comes up, we'll let you know. Now we got a lot of people that are still asking us, and I'm sure you guys are probably wondering. This is what our itinerary. It doesn't mean this is what we do. This is what this is what our itinerary is. Um. And I was getting ready to mention it the other day, and I talked about it a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to have that in the video still. Uh, but basically, today is Sunday. Uh, Monday is kind of an off day. I I hope the I kind of hope the weather's bad because I need to edit and put up these videos. Um, so you might be seeing this, and it might be ending on Monday, uh, which I'll close it out if so. Uh, but as far as further you know, our further plans, what you can look forward to. Um, I got to do a service on the truck or have a service done on the truck. And I have a friend that I am going to run into and hopefully the weather's nice on that day. Cause for my other channel, um, he's got a brand new Ford Bronco and I want to, I want to shoot video on it, talk about it. Basically me discovering it, I guess, more than anything else, kind of a reaction thing. So after that, um, we're, we're free. We're free. We're, we'll probably be here for one more. We'll be checking out the next day then. We'll be checking out of here the next day. And we have a, a scooter review that'll be coming up. We'll be talking about our scooters. So we're going to uh, head out on Thursday. And our direction is going to be a general west direction and a general south direction. We are going to... I think wing this one until we get out a little bit. I, I don't know where we want to go, so there's no sense of trying to make plans for it. Plus the weather a little bit. Well, yeah, the, if if it if it gets too hot, well, we won't go to a south, which I'm not sure what too hot would be quite yet, but I'm sure <laughs> I'll experience it at some point. And, I don't think we're going to experience <laughs> it for the first five days. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's 90 each one of those days, we'll be saying this right, isn't bad. Right. <laughs> But then the travel that we're going to do also is going to bring us into tornado season, kind of in tornado. And we're not necessarily going to avoid that. Um, we might be traveling through it and maybe we want to kind of see it a little. So we'll have to see. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to tell what will happen there. It's Ohio. Look at it. And it's cold. You can see your breath out here. At least the uh, frost or snow or sleet is gone from the truck. Yeah, look, that was coming down good earlier. Look at all this. How could they say that they were in a partial drought? I mean, there is some flooded crap going on here. But today they're going to get caught up from the drought. Yeah. So we're coming to you from Heidi's mom's house. And... Looking at the lake, the lake we used to swim in and fish in and have all kinds of fun in, but not anymore. Oh, here, I don't, oh, I can't show you guys. I would show you a, a blast from the past, but we'll have to wait until we get in the truck. But welcome to this episode of RV Daydream. This don't look like a dream. It looks like more like a day nightmare. All right, so look at all the rain. How glorious is this? Um, but we will show you uh, what I just mentioned, and that's the blast from the past. Uh, how our YouTube channel got started. And the RV that we had is right over here. Now, we used to live in this house for you guys to just subscribe to us uh, when Heidi and I first got married. Hey, speaking of which, here's a picture of when we first got married. Actually, when we were still dating. We hadn't gotten married yet. We were dating. Anyways, now we're coming back. We stayed in this house when we first got married. And there's our old RV. Still holding up strong. I, I spent all that time to paint that cover. And then they put a decal over it. But, hey, that's their RV. And it's still going strong. Dirty. Yeah, still going strong, still still doing the thing. Got a log cabin down here for sale. 
So to give you some kind of reference, uh, when we go to Fort Myers and visit Heidi's friend, her childhood friend, this is where she grew up at. This is the log cabin that she grew up at. They just painted it. It used to look like that log cabin. But yeah, so that's why Heidi's good friends with her because they were so close. The same person that planted all these trees in the neighborhood, which a lot of them are gone, uh, built this house here yep. and that log cabin. Yes, it, um, these trees that we're talking about are- The Hestons. All these trees yeah. along the property, it was, they're well over 100 years old. Yep. Yeah. All around the lake. So anyways, this is Heidi's old neighborhood and we don't really have much chance to show it to you anymore because we're obviously not up in this area. And we've got a lot of new subscribers that of course um, have joined on with us. So I thought maybe we'd show that since we're in the area. So we're gonna head back to the campground. So I'm glad, I'm glad we're gonna be getting out of this because I don't miss this. This is what I remember about Ohio all the time. You know, there's a reason that the grass is real green and lush in this area. That's because there's a lot of rain. I do like that about here. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the lush grass and everything too. But the grass that you can actually walk on. The only way you can get that is by having this kind of rain. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that Pretty much. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of this little series until we're out of here. So, why not? As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>